You will be able to edit your measurements in the Excel file that you will receive after submitting your pumping test reports. However, you can also modify the data directly in the app via the View and Edit Data section. In each tab, you can view the data that was collected during the test. You can edit it by clicking on the corresponding line. If a C is shown, it means a comment was added to the data point. By clicking the small arrow on the right, you can delete a data point. Through the plus icon at the bottom right, you can manually insert an additional data point. In the Discharge tab, there is an extra button that allows you to receive data from the Bucket Test app in case someone else gathered data using the Bucket Test application. Make sure your Bluetooth is activated, click Receive Data, and then click Start Connection. Meanwhile, the person that was using the Bucket Test app should also activate their Bluetooth. Click the small arrow of their data entry and select Transfer Data to Driller's Toolbox app. Then click Start Connection. The devices should be close to each other. Once the connection has been made, click Click to Transfer and the data will be transferred to the Driller's Toolbox app, where it will be shown at Discharge. Receiving your report is done by clicking on the small arrow of your pump test data entry and selecting Submit and Create Report. If you receive the error message Can't Retrieve Profile Information, it means you haven't completed your company profile, accessible through the home screen. If your profile is complete, you will receive an Excel file in your email, including neatly organized raw data and all your measurements and a water level drawdown chart.